my beautiful how have you been I know it's been a long time since I've been here and put out any kind of videos or content I'm here to explain why and what was going on with me and what's still going on with me so you'll have some understanding and just to let you know that the dry spell I believe is over I'm, I'm in a good place right now but uh so here we go um the reason that I'm doing this in a separate video is because it's not one of my favorite things when I click on a video for a review or for to see how somebody does something and they spend the first 10 minutes talking about where they've been. So I figured I'll put it on a separate video. If you don't want to watch it, you can skip it. If you are interested in what the heck's been going on with me, then you can watch it. Okay? Alright, so uh, if you know anything about me in my real personal life, you know that I went back to school at an advanced age to be a high school English teacher. That was the goal. And I accomplished that goal. And all the while through school, uh, everybody was telling us, oh, you know, those baby boomers, they're going to retire soon, so there'll be a glut of English teaching positions blah 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 someone even actually told me that like last school year too which I was like really but um, needless to say that is not the case I don't know if it's because the economy sucks or what's going on but there is no glut of open English teaching positions in my area and I live in Pennsylvania so uh, I live in I should be specific um, southwestern Pennsylvania not a ton of them. Um, there are some every now and then that come up for middle school. <sighs> but if you know a middle school age child or you have one or you teach them, you know. They're, they're not the easiest to deal with. And all I was getting anyway were sort of like, sub positions like substitute teacher positions long-term sub positions things like that and if you know anything about subbing you'll probably know also that that is one of the least respected jobs <laughs> in the entire school like I feel like sometimes janitors get a whole lot more respect than substitute teachers so uh, to make a very very long story short it really just wasn't turning out to be my thing and a girl at my age needs insurance and there was none and it didn't pay well so there you go so I needed another another job so I went on the job hunt um, I found another job finally uh, that has nothing to do really with teaching at all and uh, I don't love it, but I am thankful for it because I have now full-time money coming in and I have benefits. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, it's not anything, like I said, to having to do with teaching. So it's a whole other set of skills that I needed to learn. And honey, I am all for learning. I love to learn. If I won the lottery tomorrow, I would probably be between traveling trips take every college class that interested me that's just what I would do however um, it's not necessarily in a field that I ever thought about before I don't you know I'm not invigorated by it or inspired by it so it was it was a bit much it was a lot of training and I'm thankful for that um, but at the end of the day I was coming home like brain dead pretty much and I just couldn't I couldn't muster up the energy and by the end of the day my eyes are all red I was tired I don't want to talk anymore I spent I spend most of every day talking all day long or listening to other people talk and by the end of the day getting used to that I didn't feel like dealing with it anymore and you might be thinking well yeah but teaching that's all that's talking it is but it's it's a little more of a personal interaction and with teaching um, it's it's a lot more like I'm gonna explain to you you know why this is or how this is or what have you and then you as students practice it so it's less talking actually so um, 
anyway, I was coming home every day exhausted. Um, I thought about you guys and thought about this channel every freaking day because it's what I wanted to do and just didn't have the energy to do it and it was pissing me off quite frankly and irritating me and um, but I would come home just exhausted and brain dead and so I thought you know for a while there I'll do it on the weekends because I had weekends off then but the weekend would come and it was just I just needed to I just needed to rest like I didn't want to think about anything I didn't feel like putting on makeup I didn't feel like doing anything but laying in the bed and watching Netflix to be honest and so that's what I did and so while I missed you guys and I would beat myself up all throughout the week because I knew it was what this isn't really what I wanted to be doing um, it wasn't feeding me or making me feel excited that job the job um, I knew that I wanted to be doing this instead girl boy mm, it just wasn't happening and so I do apologize for that absence I've been gone for a few months I think Holy crap. Um, but just know that I have missed you. Things with my new schedule, or I should say I got a new schedule, and it's a little less taxing, um, and I feel like it's something that I'm finally, like, I'm getting into the groove of it, and I can multitask now, and I'm not as drained on a daily basis as I used to be, so... <sighs> That's where I've been. I am sorry. I have missed you. Um, but I am making the concerted effort to pump these babies out at least once a week. I'm going to try and do more, but um, you'll see new content from me at least once a week. Especially with the holidays coming up, man. There's all kinds of new stuff hitting the stores and I'm excited. And so, yeah, that's where I've been um, this week. I'm going to film another one, another video right after this, so you'll probably get two. And then after that, I'm going to shoot for at least one. Um, it's what I think I can safely handle at this point until I get a better handle on the job because I'm still only um, almost three months in, so I'm still learning. But, yeah, that's where I've been. Um, I've missed you guys all. I think at last count is 27 of you, my, my subscribers. I want to thank you so much for subscribing, especially, you know, those few of you that that subscribed in that dead period where I hadn't been turning anything out. I appreciate it. I'm going to get better for you. And um, I feel good. Like, finally, I feel like finally for the first time in in the last, like, three months or four months, I'm actually getting to do something I want to do as opposed to having to do because grown up sucks. Let's just be honest. Uh, paying bills sucks. Needing money sucks. Um, having to do what you maybe don't really want to do because you need the money kind of sucks, but it's it's grown up and I'm too old to pretend like I'm not a grown-up, and yeah, I mean, y'all are probably all in the same boat, or most of you anyway, and if you're not, you will be soon, so grown-up sucks, just so you know, okay? But anyway, while being a grown-up may suck, this does not suck, and I'll tell you what else does not suck, um, getting a good, regular paycheck is a good thing. That means I can buy more stuff and show you and talk to you about more stuff. So that's good. So anyway, I'm babbling. I'm going to go. Thank you for watching this video. As always, thanks for watching all of them or any of them. Um, I will be back. I'm going to, like I said, film another one right after this one. So uh, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Um, I'm super excited to be able to do this and talk to you guys again and read your comments and all of that great stuff. So subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thumbs up it if you liked it. Comment down below, please. Um, yeah, let me hear from you guys. All right. So thanks so much for watching. Much love to you guys. And I'll see you soon. All right. <laughs> Bye.